So moving on to our next conversation now, we're going to be speaking with uh, Eddie Young. He's a filmmaker, and uh, we're going to be talking about the current situation of uh, the film industry in Nigeria and probably in the world at large. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, a lot has changed. And I'm joined with uh, today uh, Mr. Eddie uh, Young. How are you doing, sir? Welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Adewo. All right. Good. Yeah, it's good to have you here. So, like, it's our tradition on the show to always ask our guests, how are you? Honestly, how are you? <laughs> well, I'm pretty good, but if you could send me a plate of powdered yam for lunch, <laughs> I'll be very good. That would be a, a bad idea, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. So as it is now, we're, we're, we're looking at uh, your, your filmmaker, right? Your filmmaker. Let's yeah. even start from how it all started for you before we get into the conversation of today. How, is it, how long have you been doing this and how did it all start for you? Okay, well, um, it's been a long time I've had interest in Hollywood, uh, but as it is, the industry isn't. Uh, some sort of uh, business venture you just get to jump into. You know, you need to have some level of um, practice and um, experience, you know, yes. to find out call yourself a filmmaker. So I've been at this since 2010, so about 10 years now. Um, but believe it or not, I just finally had my first feature film last year um, under the umbrella of um, Fojo Media Production. Um, which is currently airing on Netflix. Okay. But then I had done some previous films, short films and whatnot. So basically that's how the journey has been for me. And how has it been? It's been tasking, I, I would say, because uh, if we're looking at filmmaking, it's like you said, it's not something you jump into and expect to just, you know, start making all the money out of it. So looking at, um, it's been a major concern for filmmakers regarding funding. Uh, to yeah. make a film in Nigeria it takes a whole lot of uh, financial commitment. And um, how has that, uh, how, are you, how have you been able to manage this, seeing that uh, funding is a major aspect of filmmaking? Well, yeah, you know, the problem basically isn't much of the funding, you know. It's about recouping what you've spent, you know, in making a film. In making the film. Uh, when people get to complain that um, Nollywood needs to step up, they need to do what the big guys in, in Hollywood do and all that. You know, I make bold to say that we have filmmakers who can do even more, you know, than what you see in the Hollywood. But our industry probably isn't ready to, you know, house such production. You can't imagine spending up to 500 million naira, 1 billion naira making a film. Mm -hmm. Do you think our, um, it goes beyond the industry, our economy, can house such um, investments at the time from Nollywood. Uh, so that is what is important. The funding is that we have a lot of persons who are interested in investing in Nollywood, but their major concern is, will I make my money back? I mean, as an investor, yeah. you know, I can't be spending a um, hundred and a couple of millions, you know, in an investment I am not, you know, certain of getting my money back. So basically, it, go be, it goes beyond the, um, the funding issue, you know. Okay. We know our government is doing much of funding for Nollywood, but we have individuals who are willing, you know, to invest in our industry. It's all about if we have the structure, you know, to recoup these funds, basically. Yeah. Maybe that would work. Okay, so yeah. you, you spoke about uh, releasing your first feature film. Uh, and uh, yeah. we would like to see a trailer of that. So we're going to be playing the trailer so people get to see a bit of what uh, uh, the, the film is about. So let's uh, take a look at the trailer and we'll continue the conversation in a minute. So that is the trailer of uh, the movie Casanova. And uh, this is your first feature film, like you said. Quite interesting. Quite interesting. <laughs> Just from the trailer already, I can, I, I already want to see the movie. <laughs> so let's uh, lead us through this process of creating this uh, baby of yours. Okay. Um, you know, it started, you know, every production starts out with having an interest, an interested investor. Yeah. Uh, I was approached by Faith Fujo, um, who is the CEO of Fujo Media Productions, and we wanted to make a film, not just any film, you know, a different style towards genre, rom-com, romantic comedy, and all of uh, all of that. So we um, 
set out to make a production that would stand the test of time in terms of value and whatnot. So, you know, it's directed by Asa Folushi, is no doubt one of the best directors we have in the industry currently. And um, we had the very best of crew members. It goes beyond having the star started casting mm -hmm. and all of that. We had, I believe when I say our crew members are star studded in its own right, you know, um, our makeup artists, uh, Ruth Accord, that's with effect. And so many of them are award winning, you know, um, individuals in their own right. Yeah, field, so, yeah. yeah, we have, we had professionals, you know, on set and they delivered that little baby. So. Hmm. Amazing. So, uh, about the the, are you going to give us an idea of what the story is about? Are you going to give us that? Give us that. Uh... Yeah, it's Netflix. It's 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 available to you right at the comfort of your home. You know, it's it's right there. You can see it on Netflix. And believe me, when I I I might not want to let it cut out of the bag, but okay. just know, beautiful rom com. It's a feel good movie. It's a family film. You know, you'll be proud of it. Amazing. I like that. I, 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 I really like that. Uh, the fact that you're so confident with that. Now, working with all that superstar, all the superstars on that movie, how was it? Because I know that to get one celebrity to even do a movie for you, it's a lot of chasing and uh, work, let's work with your time, work with your time. So how were you able to put all these, you know, have that stellar cast and still uh, able to put the movie together without probably losing your mind? You know, I believe that um, as long as you have a story that um, your talents are interested in doing, you know, you're not going to be talking too much. If I have a script or I have an idea that I believe would um, do so well in the yeah, markets, you know, any actor want to jump on it. As long as it's going to, you know, have, they're, they're going to have that picture of a different personality while doing your film. They're interested in doing it, you know. Mm -hmm. Many of our actors are interested in stereotype sort of roles, you know. So they want to take on roles that are challenging. And if you have that kind of story, any day, any time, no matter how big a star you are, you want to be part of such projects, you know, that it's uh, taking the industry to another level. So were you directly involved in the cast selection, or were you yeah, it, directly it involved? Yeah, it was a collaboration between myself, um, my director, and the DP. You know, uh, when we saw the script, initially, okay, I should say this, I, I don't think I've said this anywhere else. Okay. Uh, this is the first live okay, TV I'll be so saying it's the this. first time. <laughs> yeah, so initially, we actually casted uh, Ramsey, and Dakore, you know, to take the lead. Okay. Ramsey at the time was out of town. Then Dakore, for some reason, was actually unreachable. Then we, you know, while we're trying to think through the process of casting, Iriti Doyle and Wally Oje just popped in, and it felt like it was a supernatural effect, sort of, mm. you know. If you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. The chemistry between Iriti Doyle and Wally Ojo is phenomenal, trust me. Hmm. Now, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, there's been a conversation from the actor's perspective now on how uh, most or filmmakers, some filmmakers uh, already just, they know who they want from the get-go. They don't give a lot of new people the opportunity to try out. How would you uh, defend the, from the filmmaker perspective, how you defend this, and uh, what exactly would you say is the disconnect in a case like that? Okay, um, the truth is this, and there were, you know, we are in this business to make money mm -hmm. as producers. As much as we want to show to the world that we have young talent, you know, um, that can do exactly what our stars are doing. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I want to ask you a simple question. You go to the cinema and you see my face on, on the banner, um, and you see another banner with um, maybe a face like um, um, RMD, Jim yeah. Mike, you know, Ireti Doral. Which movie are you going to go for, sincerely speaking? Yeah, Even yeah. the upcoming we talk, they will yeah, go the, for the, the RMD, you know, yeah. the RMD and, and whatnot. So it's the business, you know, of making a film. Mm -hmm. But having said that, you know, I believe in a lot of upcoming talent as a producer. Um, if you've seen Casanova, we have lots of faces that um, you've not seen anywhere. In fact, one of the reviews we've had is with the casting of the young talent, you know. Um, we believe in giving them opportunity to prove themselves, but we still have to cast 
this early stars in order for us to sell this film, you know? But to be sincere with you, films that do really well internationally most times are films where you, because the white guys, many of them don't know our A-list. You get yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, as long as you do a good film with talented actors, they are cool and beautiful story. So if I'm going to be making an international film, Maybe I'm probably not interested in the Nigerian market, and I'm making an international film. I could go for an, you know, all new face kind of film, mm -hmm. you know. But if I am intentional about selling in the Nigerian market before going into to the international market, I need to have, you know, the faces people want to see on the screen. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. So as it is now, you're, you 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 we're, we're talking about uh, your movie being on uh, the streaming platform. Uh, yeah. Now I think this is the is this the new norm for the movie industry moving forward? Seeing the fact that cinemas are not uh, being able to operate and how people can uh, see movies, get to watch movies now would be online. Uh, is this is this the new way? And how is it? How easy? Is it for filmmakers to get their their film to uh, these uh, online distribution companies? How easy is it? Okay, well, um, the truth is, um, the coronavirus is taking our job for a while. You know, um, we don't even know when we're getting our jobs back. Yes, you said Although that. I'm aware, from, I'm aware some filmmakers are already on set filming, but taking um, some measures to you know to um, you know save the situation of custom but the cinema owners are not going to be open anytime soon except they are going to have to put in some measures like social distancing mm -hmm. and you know and but, but sincerely speaking how many of us will be comfortable with going to such gathering you know knowing what's at stake in terms of our health and you know all that but this channel we have a lot of um, streaming platforms coming to nigeria now interested in african content it's good for our industry believe it or not because um they are paying heavy, you know, for our content, and that's what's important. So, if you have a streaming platform interested in your film, and uh, you, they don't want your film to go through to cinema, it's fine, you know. But um, right now, if it's going to be the culture uh, or the way of life for filmmakers and their film, I don't know. But we hope not, because we still want to be able to take our films through the cinema. And to answer your question about if it's easy to get your film to these um, distribution companies and their agents, well, if you've done a very good film, most of these distribution companies come for you. You know, you don't even get to uh, waste much time uh, looking for agents to sell your film. If you have a good film, lots of agents come um, for you because they're interested in your film. Hmm. Interesting. And yeah. it was a very, very important part of your conversation you said there. They said that they are paying heavily for this. Oh, so okay. are you trying to tell us that they have paid you heavily for this your well, project? Yeah. And there were, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> most times when you say they paid heavily, it might not be as heavy. You <laughs> get because I'm, uh, you, it might not be as heavy. Mm -hmm. You know, if you say my alert said not film, you know big film film. <laughs> now your alert film you know I mean? might be yes. running in the hundreds of <laughs> billions. The film alone you know can you know, know. come on. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, it, but sincerely speaking, yeah. we, we, we're seriously looking for having our content, you know, being um, heavily valued, you know, by these, the owners of these VOD platforms, because we're putting a lot to make these films. You know, I said something earlier about the market not being ready for heavy budget. Yes, you said that. You know, if we have, if we are setting that, if you, if you can spend 500 million in making a film, you probably make a 50 million dollar top, you know, on your 500 million. Yeah. Why not? We'll make the film and we'll make it really well. I mean, 500 million is a lot of money, you know, but people want us to make big films for their markets, you know, mm. to sell these films. How many people go to the cinema to see Nigerian films? Mm. You know, I don't want to say that they were all, but I'm certain that they were going to the cinema like 10 times. He has only seen two Nollywood films. <laughs> you know, but self speaking, you know, it's mm. what it is. If, if, you, if we can go to, I hear people say, um, so what film is showing? And they tell you it's a Nigerian film, and you'll be like, I don't say I don't do that, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, what do you do? What You're do you a tailor. Do? Oh, I don't wear, I don't wear Nigerian clothes, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. And let's see how you feel about people telling you they can't support your business because it's it's Nigerian. Mm -hmm. True.
true. I, 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 I totally get that. That's really true. Uh, it's, it's, it's good that uh, we, we're having this conversation and uh, you have pointed it out that uh, a lot of Nigerians don't go, go go to the cinemas to see Nigerian movies and I think it's high time we get to support our own content, seeing the fact that we're telling our stories. And uh, that's really uh, the, the, the main reason for having these things happen. Uh, well, we want to say thank you for having this conversation with us. Uh, we're hoping that Thanks. after this uh, new baby of yours, we'll be expecting some other babies to come uh, in the nearest future, right? Yeah, Any, some other <laughs> new stuff coming out soon. <laughs> Definitely, you know, with people like you who are strong investors in our industry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes, we'll yes, we'll make sure we put uh, in one or two. A few billions would not be a bad idea just to, you know. You know, no. I trust you, Edewa. You've done it before you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much for this conversation, bro. It's been quite uh, insightful, and we're hoping that uh, this new baby of yours gets to uh, reach the, the points at which you expect it to. And we're expecting more and more good uh, movies from your end. All right. Thank you very much, there. Thank you. Thank you a lot. All right, so we've just been speaking to Eddie Young. He's a filmmaker, and he just led us through uh, the journey of filmmaking and the new normal and how uh, we need to, you know, get used to the fact that a lot of things have changed and now how to put out your, your, your movies online and where people can stream from. So this is a successful story. He just talked about uh, his new baby uh, titled Casanova. So I believe uh, you just saw the trailer for yourself. You can go check it out and see how uh, that is all about. Well, to enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love him.